So, this is the first time I've been down the plot for a few weeks, so I thought I'd come and check it out. So I was cycling towards the allotment and saw that my mate's house had a skip outside and he's having a new conservatory. So I saw this lovely roofing. So knock on the door. Any chance I could have it? I do give him carrots and stuff, so there we go. So it's going there, that middle pot. I've already made some kind of shelving for it, so it's just going to run slanted into that guttering. That's going to feed that IBC tank. So I've already got this roofing, which feeds into that IBC tank. So, more ways to collect water, which is good. And freebies, we love freebies. So here's an update on the Sandfire seeds that I, I sowed. I just there's all these bits here so I just crumbled it up. So where are we? if we look around this area here you can, see, you can see tiny little green seedlings popping up. So that's gonna be brilliant. So this normally is where the the cooch grass comes and uh, interferes with the asparagus but Hopefully the samphire will act as a suppressant. So this is the asparagus patch and it's looking lovely. Um, I put a lot of well-rotted manure on it a few, well, a few months ago. So it's lovely stuff here. So hopefully it'll reward me with uh, some lovely asparagus. So here we go, the wildlife area. So, I've never had any frog spawn in here, I don't, I don't know why. I've always had to get it from a local lake. Now this, this lake's horrible anyway, so I, I see it as I'm rescuing them. So, uh, I've got two big comfrey plants, one there and one on the other side. Black currant. <laughs> I left all the allium Allium heads here for the wildlife and they've uh, <laughs> self-seeded everywhere Which I'm not complaining about uh, I did have some rhubarb underneath there, but I'll just leave it So my garlic did struggle with the extreme cold temperatures in December so I had some in the in the um, shed which I planted and it's coming along you can see so hopefully it'll give me a crop now looking at that garlic it seems to recover a bit and there's also some hard necks that I planted in between the ones that died yeah you can see one there it's not survived. So I'll hopefully get some garlic. The peas that I, I sowed a few weeks ago haven't popped up yet. This is the brassica bed. So I've just sown some normal peas in, in there. Hopefully they'll complement each other. Not sure what's going in there yet. So the flower bed's looking good. So normally put some sweet peas in wigwams there, there and there. So I'll see, I think I've got a dahlia that's around here. So maybe I'll put the sweet peas here. There we go. See you later. So there's my roof, a bit rough and ready, but it will do for the time being. I've not got my tools with me, so uh, I've had to use my basic wood saw and screwdriver, so well, let's see if it works.
not hearing anything. Right, we'll try that again. Still a little bit leaky. That's a bit shit. Right, it's going into the tank and the tank's pretty full so I might have to shore that up.